Hey y'all, this is Rick from Earth Pain Works. So I am going to be doing another little video about the baseball stitch. This is an African Podic small wood paddle made by my meta and good friend um, Nicholas Destructive from uh, Burning Desires. So go check his channel out. He makes really, really cool uh, wood paddles. He also does... Uh, he turns handles for me now for a lot of my vlogs. So yeah, go check his stuff out. He makes high quality wood paddles. You're not breaking this. If you break it, holy crap. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how to do a little uh, leather handle wrap for something like this. So I've got my leather all set up. i got my holes punched. I use holes, not dive in chisels, so I use this kind of a tool over a diamond chisel. It'll make it easier. So when wrapping, you want a little bit of a gap because you, and I do a little bit of a good spacing between the holes and the edge of the leather. Reason being is because I want to get that little bulge that you get from a baseball stitch. It also helps guard against tearing. And the thread I'm going to be using is the Tiger Thread in purple. And this is the 0.8 millimeter. Alright, I got my needles, I got my thread. That's the way we're going to start. Into the top. Straight across, pull them both even Steven. Now, I'm working from this side, I'm going to come on in, go under, and out. Under and out. Then, I'm going to switch needles. Go, go back across, under, and out. And pull that, not tight, tight, not yet. So now, and from this side, under. And out. All right, switching needles back to here, going over the top, under and out. See that? Under and out. Now, start laying this a little flatter. I'm going to start tightening this dog up. Get her situated. Make sure she's going on. I want to make sure my stitch is staying straight down the middle. So now, under. And out. Other needle. Under. And out. It's the part where I'm going to start pulling tighter. I'm about four holes down. This is where you're really going to want to start pulling tight. And there you are. I just took, when I get to the end, I just take this, I go straight across. Down and out the bottom, straight across, down and out the bottom. I tie a granny knot, cut it and melt it. That's it. Now I got a little more traction, a little, a little more grip, and it matches the lanyard I put on it. But yeah, absolutely check out Burning Desires. He does 
burns on his paddles completely by hand. So he does he doesn't use a laser CNC, he doesn't use any of that. They're com they're all done with a wood burning kit by hand, one at a time. So yeah, go check out his stuff.